Welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 19, Easter Island. We are still playing The Sunken Isle by Fornan, and I am TJ the Obscure here with you back at <clears throat> the monument. Ready to place some wool. We got four wool to place. I think this is all of them, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. I may have misplaced a few along the way. Light gray wool. Bum, bum, bum. Cyan wool, I think that's right. Those colors seem to match. And lime wool as well, which means we're just about finished with this half of the monument. It leaves us with one, two, three, seven wool left. So we're more than halfway done. I know where there are at least one, two, two more dungeons. But that leaves us with five more to find. Uh, so I'm not really sure where to be looking. Well, no, two. I guess that that's going to be three, right? And then this village right here is probably four. Regardless, we're going to, I think, head into the little cave that we saw over here. And if time permits, we might even head to that giant tower using our fantabulous airship. Uh, we're a little low on coal, but we have plenty of torches, so... Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, our airship platform is like right, right here. Yes, in fact, we could even, okay. Just happy that the sand is not gonna update. We could probably even just jump over here and board the airship. Hopefully it still works even after exiting. This seems kind of cheaty, doesn't it? We're just gonna fly everywhere. I just I just fly to the top of the tower and almost to the top of the village as well. Actually, now that I think about it, there's not really a good way to get down easily, is there? I guess we can fall in the water. Although I need to actually see where the heck I'm going. The cave is like right here. Uh, let's aim for the larger pond, <laughs> just so just so we don't make a mistake. We. I should do another series where I play in F5 mode, gosh dang it. I I really enjoy that usually. And once again, back with all the all the natural spawns. I think the cave is right here, marked by the redstone torch. I'm assuming it's a dungeon. It may not be a full-fledged dungeon, but from what we saw, it certainly seems like it. Oh, that's right, we have Frostwalker now. Glad I remembered that. Can't remember, did I improve that? No, I think that was in uh, the other map that I'm playing. You know what, I don't need to worry about you, Mr. Spawner. We'll just get out of range and make it easy on ourselves. Okay, are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's get to it then. Uh, so far, just creepers, which are natural spawns, and the spiders. Oh, that's right, yeah, this is a map with no freaking arrows in it, isn't it? Totally forgot about that. And we did not actually break that spawner. I kind of wanted you to just go ahead and explode there, Mr. Creeper. But I'll kill you anyways. Bane of Arthropods, Feather Falling, and Depth Strider. I should actually be using... Gosh dang it, I keep, I keep going for my bow even though I don't even have any arrows. I meant to set up a... Uh, A but um bump. You know what? Frostwalker with the water may not actually be be a good idea here, simply because the water would be a nice kind of defensive thing for the spiders, because they'll get tripped up in it more than I will. Apparently, these spiders on the other side of the wall don't want to have anything to do with me. You know what? Is there anything that I could use here? Bane of arthropods, maybe. It's the only enchanting book that I've gotten, and it seems like it's going to come in handy here. Uh, I mean, the only enchanting book that has offensive stuff on it. I guess I did get that one sharpness book, but we lost it. <laughs> we, we lost it whenever I fell out of the boat. So... Uh, and it seems like, seems like it's going to be useful to have some Bane of Arthropods here. Very dark dungeon. I see another chest over here. So let us check it out. Oh, no. Go away, Mr. Baby Dude. 
Go away, please. Oh, more arrows. More arrows. Don't need any of that stuff. Uh, I do kind of want to kill the Enderman, but we'll hold off for now and just focus on trying to make some more progress in the dungeon, which is getting much, much crazier, I must say. Um... Oh, I jumped right into a web, didn't I? Oops, oops, oops. Okay, get over here, guy. I don't want to be in here. Oh, I have, a, I have a water bucket, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was terrible play on my part. I must say, yeah, I could be digging into the wall right now. There's so many things. <laughs> that was terrible. That was absolutely horrendous. I'm not sure what I was doing. I forgot how to play Minecraft, you guys. And the more we sit here, the more they're just going to build up. Um, let's eat an apple. Let's switch back to our pork chops. Oh, hey, we're we're here, you guys. Bring my water back, please. Oh, oh. Get the get the stuff down. Get the stuff down. Um, let's do that. And that. And that. Take out that guy. Um. Okay. I think we're kind of safe. Let's grab the wool. I don't know if he's going to come after me or not. I think we're okay. They may chase me on my way out, though. I'm guessing they're mainly stuck at this point. I don't know if I really wanted to draw his attention. Gosh dang it. You guys and your crazy hitboxes. Let's regen first. And the sword does make them one-shot kill, which is... pretty nice. Oh, man. Okay, don't play... don't play CTMs when you're... when you're tired. Guys, it's not a good idea. Not a smart idea whatsoever. But we got what we came for. Do I need to repair anything? I feel like it would make sense. Uh, light it up. Light it up. Light up all the things. I don't see any chests. Which leads me to believe that there's no none in here, but I could be wrong about that. I could definitely see Fornin putting a chest in one of those holes. Yeah, and I know that there was more to explore back here too. But let's keep on moving on. That wasn't too bad at all. Water bucket definitely helps with the spider webs. And the enchant helped as well. Uh, since we're right here, let's go ahead and add Feather Falling 3 to our boots. Just so we have it handy. That anvil's getting to be a little low. Oh, hello there, Mr. Spawner. And hello there, Mr. Creeper. Okay, let's return to our airship. And, uh... I think I want to go to that giant tower now, is my plan. Did I ever check you? Yes, I did. Or should we check these ruins for additional goodies? Is that the better choice at this point, you think? I don't know, it's hard, hard to make the decisions. This seems like a place we may want to be. Alright, Mr. Creeper, I really would like your help here, guy. I was really hoping that he was gonna... 
go off the edge there. What is that? Is that a that's a spider spawner? And down you go. I need to be careful here because my my stuff is getting pretty low. Oh, instant health too. Finally, finally. Let's just go ahead and put that guy up. Did I bring any iron with me? Yes. In fact, we can repair most things, I think. That doesn't quite need it. Let's go ahead and repair my helmet, though. And my pants, too. Without those pants, I probably would have died there. Oh, really? Come on, game. Don't know if we're going to find anything up here, but I figured it would be smart to check regardless. Plus, I need one more level to be able to repair my pants. Ah, voila. Oh, Frostwalker, you need to work even when I'm on Soul Sand, guy. Fine, fine, Mr. Skeleton, we'll do things your way. This this tower is one that's been, like, tipped over. I don't know if we're going to find anything here or not. I was kind of hoping we might, though. And not just creepers, but an actual chest. A couple stacks of arrows. More accessible airship. Anything? Gosh dang it. Came all the way up here for nothing. By the way, these cliffs right here look pretty awesome. Like, uh, looks very natural and kind of, kind of scary too. You know what? We're just going to do that. Just so I don't have to mess with you there, guys. Whoa. I didn't see you there. Um. Well, there goes that health potion. It did not last us very long. Let's block off the stairs. Like so, and then same thing right here. The spider can still get to us. Or no, maybe maybe he can't. Oh, so much food. So much food. I love it. I love it. The only thing I would ask for at this point is, of course... Freaking arrows, man. I know Fornin is intentionally limiting the player's ranged abilities. And probably for good reason, too. The bow is incredibly overpowered. It does tons of damage. And you can, you know, inflict that damage from a ways away. What are you doing, Mr. Creeper? Why are you having such a hard time getting over here, guy? Okay, more arrows for us. Uh... Go away. And yep, now it works for me. Okay. Another tower has been conquered. It's, those ones are up next. And again... Uh... Part of me wants to take them on as intended by starting at the bottom and going to the top, but part of me is also really excited by the idea of using um, of using the airship to reach the top of one of them. Very cheaty, but it sounds like it's going to be fun, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, look at you, Mr. Sneaky Spider. Okay, let's uh, head on over here then. 
That one almost looks like it could have something important on it, too. Ooh, these are gas spawners. Interesting. I wonder what happens if we get hit with a gas ball up here. And there's a chest. Hey, I'll take it. You can't see me there, Mr. Gasty Poo. Easy enough, easy enough. I hear the zombies coming for us. More instant health potions. That's where we want to go, and there's a little thing of leaves connecting us right here. I thought I saw a cow for a second. Be very, very careful. I hear the creepers. I hear the spiders. Ooh, I really hear the spiders. Um. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. All right, Mr. Skeleton, towering up is <clears throat> towering up is going to be very difficult to do with you hanging around. So please go away. And that works for me. You can just go ahead and commit suicide. Crazy, crazy skeletons. And the one... No, don't waste... Don't waste your uh, stuff. Am I slowing the spiders for some reason? It almost seems like it. Like every time I hit them, they seem to get potion effects. Or they just have them and I, and I haven't noticed. Um, sure. Sure, that works. And don't don't worry, I did see the chest down there. Hey, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, I don't want to get poisoned. Please, no. Please, no. Okay, well, we're going to get poisoned. Just the one spawner, really? I have a hard time believing that. But apparently that's the case. Oh, we got more spiders. And a ladder. At least it's not broken. I can't appreciate that. Oh gosh. Oh, that, that wasn't good. That was not good whatsoever. Gosh dang it. Okay, yes, die, please. I want to get over here and take out this guy first and foremost. Let the spiders chase or chase us around. I'm assuming the wool is in there. It looks like it. Um. Oh gosh. No, don't don't do it, guy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's give ourselves some cover. Uh, let's just go ahead and drink one of these. Just because we, we have them, might as well use them. Okay, well. Um. Oh gosh, you guys, that's not good. Wow. I can't believe what just happened. I cannot freaking believe that, you guys. Please, go pass up on me, Mr. Spiders. Gosh dang it. Okay, well, the things things are not going well for me. More feather falling. Eat all the bacon. I'm out of arrows, too. I don't know what happened when I was building that bridge. But, uh, it, 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 yeah, it did not work. I feel like I forgot to hit a button or something. Um. Oh, really? Are you serious? I don't really know. I need to just jump out there and... Stuff, but I also need to get out of range of these stupid skeletons, man. 
Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go up top. Just because this guy's driving me absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Oh, no, no, no. No, that wasn't funny. Are you serious? Gosh dang it. Game, 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 game. Okay. Well. Oh, one arrow, one arrow, one arrow, one arrow. Stop picking up the things, people. Take out the water. Okay. Easy enough, easy enough. Not really, that was actually pretty challenging. And we still got spiders coming after us. Uh, there may be stuff down there, but I'm not going to bother with it at the moment. I'm kind of curious about what's over on that tower. It looks special for some reason. And let us see what is over here. No, wait, what's what's this? What's this? Oh gosh, dang it. Not cool, spider. Not cool. From the frost walker boots to uh to to the spiders, man, every everything is just throwing me off my game today. I mean, granted, we still managed to save ourselves there, but just barely. And we're going through our ender pearls rather quickly. Plus, I wanted to see... I wanted to see what was going on here. Everybody blown up? Almost. Most everybody. Uh, chainmail, no thank you. Not anything that we need. Let's make sure that's well lit. Okay, we're gonna have to start putting some stuff up at this point. And that as well. Uh, like a so. Like a so, I do need to repair things so that things don't break. Oops, I did that backwards. That was definitely backwards. Okay, I want you there, and you right there. And give me the levels. Pretty, pretty, please. And we light it up. I'm, I'm loving this map, Fornin. A lot of cool stuff going on, and I just love the difficulty level. Does that mean it's a boat? Yes, okay, we can access an airship here, which should be an easy, easy way to get back to the monument. Two down this episode, a number of really close calls. Uh, on both wolves, actually. And this episode was very spider-themed, wasn't it? Which, I guess... It is nice since we managed to get the Bane of Arthropods. I think that may be one of the first times I've ever used a Bane of Arthropods weapon in a map. Let's put some of this stuff up. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.